Hello? Sandy? Is that you? Yes. Uh huh. Who's this? It's Gil. Gil? Gil who? What do you mean, Gil who? Gil Dixon, of course. Oh, Gil. I'm sorry. Yes. We had a date last night. Where were you? I waited for one hour. Oh, I'm sorry, Gil. I couldn't come. Couldn't come? Why not? Well, I had to pack my stuff for my trip. Why didn't you call me? I wanted to call you, but, um, I couldn't remember your phone number. And now I'm going to forget yours. Do you like snow? No, I hate it. Why? Snow is so pretty. Yes, but I don't like to drive in it. Well, it's beginning to snow. And I have to drive to work. How far is it to work? Six miles. Are we going to get much snow? About 12 inches, they say. Oh, no. Driving will be dangerous. Please be careful. I will. By the way, can I borrow your car? Can I get you something to drink? A cup of coffee, please. With milk and sugar? A little milk, but no sugar. I never drink coffee at night. Why not? It keeps me awake. What do you drink with supper? Tea. It helps me relax. I don't like tea. There are so many kinds of tea. Maybe you should shop around and try to find one you like because coffee is bad for you. That's a good idea. Have you heard about the good news in the Wallace family? No, I've been out of town. Mrs. Wallace went into the hospital last night and gave birth to a baby girl seven hours later. That's very good. But they already have a little girl, don't they? No, they have a five year old boy. So they wanted a girl this time, right? Yes, they wanted a girl for a long time. Was it natural childbirth? No, she had to have a cesarean. How are you settling in? Oh, we're still in a bit of a mess, but Lisa seems to like it here. That's good. Is there a garden for her to play in? Yes, it's not very big, but we've got a small swimming pool. Have you found a school for Jerry? Yes, there's one near here. It only takes five minutes by car. That's good. So you like it there, do you, Neil? Yes, this is a very good place for my children. Did you see my car keys? They're on top of the TV. You're right. Thanks. Where are you going? To the supermarket. Again? Yes, we eat a lot. Do you want me to go with you? Sure, if you can. Good. The packages will be heavy. There is a new health store right up the road. Maybe since you guys eat a lot, you should try and eat more healthily. Maybe you're right. We have all put on a little weight. Well, here's the kitchen. Hmm, it's very small. Yes, it isn't very large, but there's a cooker and a fridge. There are some cupboards under the sink. Are there any plates? Yes, there are. Good. Are there any chairs in here? No, there aren't, but there are some in the living room. Hmm, there aren't any glasses. Yes, there are. They're in the cupboard. And、uh, where's the toilet? Oh, Miss Wallace. Long time no see. How are you? Good, thank you. How's your new job? I started working today. How does it seem so far? It's demanding, but I'm happy to be working. What's your boss like? He appears to be very thoughtful and kind, but they all do at first. I guess we will have to wait and see. Well, I wish you the best of luck. Thanks. Take care. Are you ready? Grace is still in her room. She needs to rush. We don't have enough time. What time does the movie begin? It starts at 7 30. What's the time now? About 7 10. There's no hurry. It only takes 10 minutes by car to get there. I know, but there aren't enough parking spaces around the theater. Well, I'd better tell Grace to hurry up. She can take hours to get ready. When can I see Dr. No? He won't be free until tomorrow. Can I make an appointment? Sure. How about tomorrow at 10 o'clock? Can you make it at 9? I'll check to see if he's available. I'm sorry, but he's tied up until 10 o'clock. Well, can't you squeeze me in somehow? I'm afraid not. How about after lunch? Will one o'clock be all right? That's perfect. Thank you. Are you free Friday night? I might not be in town. I'm not sure yet. A friend suggested I go to Vancouver. Well, a few of us are getting together, and I thought you might want to come too. What are you thinking of doing? We're not sure yet. We might go to a bar, but we'll probably go to see AI. Oh, I haven't seen it yet. Well, come then. Sure. If I'm in town, I'll call you and let you know. I see you're reading Harry Potter. How do you like it? I can't put it down. Have you read it? Yes. In fact, I just finished it. The ending's great. Don't tell me. 
I have only 50 pages to go. Okay, I won't tell you who dies. Don't tell me anything. Okay, but I'm biting my tongue. Good, bite hard. Such a shame, though. What is? That Harry dies. Oh! I thought that movie was terrific, didn't you? I don't know. It didn't seem to have any meaning. Come on. It seems that you expect intellectual stimulation from every movie. I just think that a good movie should have a central theme, at least. Yes, but it doesn't hurt you to watch a funny movie once in a while. Relax and enjoy it. You're right. I'm too serious sometimes. Mrs. Martin, I'm Dr. Thomas. Oh, doctor, how is he? Well, I'm afraid we'll have to operate. Oh, no. He's always been afraid of operations. Don't worry. If we operate now, he'll be all right. Oh, doctor, do you really have to? I'm afraid so. He's lost a lot of blood. If we don't operate, he'll die. Oh, please, do whatever you have to. Do you like my new coat? It looks terrific. I'm glad you like it. How much was it? Eighty dollars. That's a good price. Yeah, it was on sale. Where did you get it? At Sears. I'd like to shop there, too. They always have really good sales. Maybe you should go there today. They have a sale on shirts if you're interested. Good idea. I need some. Is it cold out? Yes, it's cold and windy. I'm going to wear my heavy coat. Good idea. Where are you going? To the post office. Why? To mail this package. Would you buy some stamps for me? Sure. How many do you want? Ten. Here's the money for the stamps. Okay. I'll be back in 20 minutes, unless I get blown away. Where is the school? It's between the library and the park. Where is the post office? It's across from the movie theater. Where is the Royal Bank? It's next to the supermarket. Where is the gas station? It's around the corner from the church. Where is the barber shop? It's near the bus station. Are you married? No, I'm not. I'm single. Tell me about your new car. Is it large? No, it's not. It is small. Tell me about the questions in your English book. Are they difficult? No, they're not. They are easy. Tell me about your new neighbors. Are they quiet? No, they aren't. They are noisy. I want to go to the bank this afternoon. I'll drive you there. Thanks. I'm going to apply for a loan. Why do you need a loan? I have to buy a new car. What's wrong with your car? It won't start, and it's ten years old. How much will a new car cost? About $15,000. Wow, that's a lot of money. I know. That's why I need a loan. My son is graduating from high school today. And my daughter is graduating next year. How old is she? She's 16. I remember when she was a baby. I know. We're getting old. Don't say that. Why not? It's true. No, it isn't. We were young when we got married. That's right, but we got married 25 years ago. What are you getting Jim for his birthday? I don't know yet. You can always get him a shirt. But I got him one last year. Ah, oh, that's right. Let me think. I want to get him something different. How about a briefcase? Good idea. His briefcase is getting old. And it's something he'll use every day. Of course. Why didn't I think of that? Diana! Oh, George, hi, how are you? Listen, I'm in a terrible hurry. The bank closes in 20 minutes. Is your bank near here? Yes, it's only four blocks away, on Vine Street. Well, get in. I'll take you. Are you sure it's not out of your way? No, not at all. That is so nice of you, George. Thank you. You're welcome. Today is my cousin's birthday. What's your cousin's name? Kathy. I'm going to her house after dinner. How old is she? She's 24. Hmm, she's my age. Is she pretty? Yes, and she's very nice, too. Is she single? No, she's married and has two children. Oh, that's too bad. Not for her. Is there a bakery near here? Yes, you can get there in five minutes. That's good. I don't have much time. Why are you going to the bakery? To buy a birthday cake. Whose birthday is it? My daughter's. She's ten. That's nice. Will you get some bread for me? Sure. Do you want anything else? No, thanks. I'll pay you when you get back. You sound terrible. I have a sore throat. You should rest your voice. I know. 
It hurts when I talk. What are you taking for your throat? Hot tea and honey. That should help. Are you going to work today? No, I'm staying home. Good idea. I'll feel better tomorrow. I hope so. Where are you? I am in the kitchen. What are you doing? I am cooking dinner. Where are Bill and Mary? They are in the living room. What are they doing? They are watching TV. Where is the cat? She is in the dining room. What is she doing? She is sleeping. What kind of work do you do? I'm a cashier at a supermarket. Do you like your job? No, it's not very interesting. And you don't make much money. That's right. I make very little. I think you should look for another job. I am, but it's not easy to find one. Keep looking. You'll get one. Thanks. I hope you're right. I'm going to play soccer. Who are you playing with? Some friends from work. Are you a good soccer player? Yes, but I'm not the best player on the team. What time does the game begin? Nine o'clock. Why don't you come with me? I can't today. I'm very busy. Okay. See you later. I hope your team wins. What a beautiful day! Yes, there's not a cloud in the sky. What's the temperature? It's seventy degrees. I love October. Me too. It's not too hot and not too cold. Fall is my favorite season. Mine too. The weather is almost perfect, and the leaves are very pretty when they change colors. Is Alice young or old? She is young. Is Bill tall or short? He is short. Is Albert's apartment big or little? It's small. Were the last examinations easy or difficult? They were difficult. Is Julie married or single? She is single. Would you like anything else? You haven't eaten very much. No thanks. I'm already full. Oh come on, have some more. No, I really can't. I've never been much of an eater. Have some coffee then. That would be nice. How do you take it? With sugar, please. No cream. Here you are. Thank you. This is a nice flat. Hmm. There's a living room. There's a kitchen, a bedroom, and a bathroom, and there's a bidet. What's a bidet? It's like a toilet, only better. I'll let you figure it out. Well, none of my friends have a bidet, and even if I don't know what it is, they will be very jealous when I tell them. Waiter, could we have the bill, please? Can I put it all on one bill? No, we'd prefer separate checks. Your bill's eighteen dollars. That seems expensive. Would you check it again, please? Sorry, ma'am. This is your friend's bill. Here is yours. It's twenty-four dollars and sixteen cents. May I help you? Yes, please. I am looking for an umbrella. What's your favorite color? It's black. Sorry, we have no black umbrellas right now. Here is a nice umbrella. But this umbrella is yellow. That's okay. Yellow umbrellas are very popular this year. Where is your meeting? In Dallas, Texas. How are you going? By plane. Do you like to fly? Sure. It's fast and comfortable. I'm afraid of flying. That's silly. Flying is very safe. Maybe, but I don't feel safe in a plane. I understand. A lot of people feel that way. Good afternoon, Scott and Smith. May I help you? May I speak to Mr. Scott or Mr. Smith, please? I'm sorry, they aren't here right now. Who's calling, please? George Martin. Is there any message I can take, Mr. Martin? No, I'll call back later. Thank you for calling, Scott and Smith. Excuse me. Yes, can I help you? Yes, I'd like some information about buses, please. Where to? To Toronto. When? This Saturday. Morning or afternoon? In the afternoon, about three o'clock. There's one at three twenty. Thank you. That sounds perfect. I'll take it. Where is Jane? She is in the living room. What is she doing? She is playing the piano. Where is the car? It is in the garage. Where is the dog? The dog is in front of the door. What is the dog doing? The dog is eating. When is your vacation? It starts next week. Where are you going? We're renting a house on the shore. That's wonderful. Yes, we love the ocean. Do you swim a lot? Not very much. Then why are you going to the shore? 
because we all bought new swimsuits. I'd like to reconfirm my plane reservation. What flight are you taking? Flight two o seven. And your name, please? Henry Chandler. Yes, sir. You're booked on flight two zero seven. Please check in at the airport an hour before flight time. Thank you. Who is she? She is my sister. What's her name? Her name is Jennifer. Where is she in this photograph? She's in Toronto. What is that building behind her? She's standing in front of the CN Tower. How about a drink tonight? I'd love to. Where can we meet? How about the relax bar? All right. What time? Is eight o'clock okay? Yes, that's fine. I will meet you there. I'm really looking forward to it. Me too. Excuse me, can you tell me the way to the nearest bank? Yes, it's on Geneva Street. As a matter of fact, I'm going that way myself. So if you come with me, I will show you. Thanks very much. You're welcome. Hello. Hello. Is Mary there? I'm sorry, you have the wrong number. Oh, is this six eight five five two nine zero? No, it's not. I'm sorry. That's okay. Excuse me, is this your umbrella? No, it isn't. Are you sure? Yes, I am sure. That umbrella is brown, and my umbrella is yellow. Raymond. Oh, hi, Grace. How have you been? Good. I hear you've been to Toronto for a few days. Yes, I just got back yesterday. Did you have a nice visit? Really nice. It was very good going around downtown and shopping, and I saw the Toronto Blue Jays game at Sky Dome. It seems that Toronto is a very exciting city. My brother Stanley was there too. You've met Stanley, haven't you? Sure. I met him when he was here in Hamilton last year. What's he doing these days? Still teaching baseball? Yes. As a matter of fact, he just began to teach elementary school. Great. How's everything with his kids? Have you met my nieces? Yes. They visited you once in the summer, didn't they? Right. They're both fine. I haven't seen them in a long time. They must be really big. Well, they will come over this Christmas. Let's have a great Christmas party together. That's a good idea. Teresa, what a surprise! What are you doing here? Timothy, I don't believe it. I'm going to see my daughter. She will marry this weekend. How about you? I'm going to visit my parents. When is your daughter's wedding? Sunday. Wow, this Sunday is the 45th wedding anniversary of their wedding too. This is a surprise. Anyway, where is your train leaving from? My train leaves from platform three over there. How long will you? Now leaving from platform three. Train from Vancouver. That's my train. I have to run. Sorry, we didn't get more time to talk. That's okay. I'll see you when you get back. Have a good time and say congratulations to your parents. Mr. Adams, have you seen this ad in the Recruit News? Yes, I saw it. But I'm not interested in finding a new job. I've been here since I graduated from my university. I like working here. Really? I've only been here one year, and I'm already tired of doing the same thing every day. I'm afraid of getting really bored. Oh come on! It's not that bad. Wherever you work, you have to do the same thing every day to a certain degree. Well, what's more, I've been working about ten hours a day since last month. But you've been getting paid more money for it, haven't you? Yes, but I'm not interested in making more money. I'm going to apply for another job. What kind of job? A secretarial job. Well, good luck. Thank you very much. Good morning. Perhaps you can advise me. Yes, ma'am. I'm looking for a toy for my niece. Oh yes.、Uh, how old is she? She'll be seven years old on Sunday. Skateboards are still very popular. Hmm. I don't want her to hurt herself. What about a Barbie doll set? I don't think so. She has many Barbie dolls. Have you got anything educational? You see, she's a very intelligent girl. I've got the perfect thing—a do-it-yourself kit where you can build your own Barbie doll who rides a skateboard. Hi, sorry I'm late. I missed the bus. Oh, that's okay. I had time to clean up before you came. You don't look very good. I must be getting a cold. I've been sneezing all day. <gasps> Bless you. Thank you. You must be getting a cold. Why don't you go lie down? I'll bring you some aspirin. I don't see any aspirin in the medicine cabinet. We must be out of them. I'll go to the drugstore. Is there anything else we need? Could you get some? <gasps> I don't know if they sell achoo here, but I'll check.
Good morning, Scott and Smith Law Office. May I help you? Yes. May I speak to David Waller, please? I'm sorry. He isn't here yet. May I take a message? Yes. Could you ask him to call Marjorie Vale? How do you spell your last name? V A L E. What's your phone number? Does Mr. Waller have it? Uh, no, he doesn't. It's six eight zero five two nine zero. I'm sorry. Could you repeat that? Six eight zero five two nine zero. I'll give him the message. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you smoke? I've never known that. When did you start smoking? I started smoking when I was eighteen. So how long have you been a smoker? I've smoked for twenty years. How many cigarettes do you smoke a day? I smoke two packs of cigarettes a day. Have you ever tried to quit? Yes, I have quit twice. Once when I was expecting my baby, Paul, and the other time when I had a bad sore throat. But I had a hard time. If you knew what it was doing to your lungs, you would think twice about it. Can I get some tickets for plays? Yes. Is there a specific play that you want to see? What plays are on tonight? Cats, but it's sold out. Are there any seats left for tomorrow night? Yes. How many tickets do you want? Two, please. Where would you like to sit? I'm not sure. Well, here's a seating plan of the concert hall. How much、uh, is it in the middle section? Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars? That's a little too expensive for us. How much is it in the back? Thirty-five dollars. That's fine. What time does the play start? At seven o'clock. What time will the play be over? At nine thirty. Did you hear about the Smith family? No. What happened? Mrs. Smith passed away this morning. That's a shame. What from? Heart attack, I think. That's a terrible thing. Yes, Mrs. Smith went into hospital last night by ambulance and died this morning. Had she been suffering from heart disease? Yeah, Mrs. Smith had it for five years before she died. Did they try surgery? She had two operations, but they weren't effective. I feel sorry for Mr. Smith. Excuse me, may I see your license? I'm afraid I've left it at home. In that case, you'll have to take it to the police station within five days. But but why? You were speeding, ma'am. But I was only doing seventy-five. There's a seventy-kilometer-hour speed limit on this road, ma'am. Is there? I didn't see a sign. Well, ma'am, we've been following you. So you were doing seventy-five too? No, ma'am. We were doing ninety kilometers an hour, and we couldn't catch you. I'm trying to find a wedding anniversary present for my wife. Yes, sir. What exactly are you looking for? I'm not sure, really. Perhaps you can help me. Right. I'll show you some pendants. No, I bought a pendant for her birthday. Maybe a necklace then. These necklaces are made of gold. Yes, I like this one. What's the stone? It's a ruby, sir, and it's only twelve hundred dollars. Uh, well, perhaps you could show me some bracelets then.